Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to modify this design and make it a little better for what we're using it for. So um, you can see here I have support material for when I print it. Uh, this just makes it so it sticks better to the bed, this bottom piece. And this piece will print much better if you do it this way, if you have some sort of support. So I did that after the fact. Um, we're going to have to modify this this piece a little bit because um, I want to move this guy down a hair. So let's see. The first thing that's super important here is we need to somehow bring this guy back a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is press and pull tool. We are going to pull this. See it's going to give us some crap because uh, because of that cutout that we had. Let's see if whenever I'm moving them makes sense. And then I can build a new one. Hmm. So let's see. What are we gonna do here? I think we are going to start from scratch. We're gonna put that back where it was. Still have a little line here. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's continue on. So um, now what I need to do is get rid of these inside pieces. So what I decide to do is basically just extrude them out. Um, use the press and pull tool, I believe here. And I do the same thing and then swirl the sides back around to the edge. And I'll fix this little mistake down here too. Um, you don't really want to pull it out that far. Uh, I fixed that whole little crease that you see there a little bit further on. So what I'm doing is I pull this back around because I want to kind of start fresh. And um, let's see. Yeah, I couldn't get it to press and pull right here, so. Um, but I'll fix that. We'll zoom in on the inside later and fix that. So, now, I need to modify the support material a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to move this down a little bit. Um, with the move tool. And we are going to bring it down, and we'll fix the bottom in a second. And now I'm going to move this down, the little gas tank return line. And that looks good to me. Okay, so press the pull. Now it's gone. Um, so now we are gonna keep going. Um, we gotta press and pull this up. I'm gonna move it over a little bit first because it's not exactly where I want it. I moved it over by point two. Now I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to bring it back up. And just a reminder again, this is the support material. Um, my printer, I don't need it to generate support material. If I do it myself, it works out way better. And uh, this is what I did yesterday, and the print came out fine for the most part. And you just break off the piece that's uh, hanging there. So now I'm going to bring this back in a little bit. I end up going, uh, um, I go a little too far right here. So what I'm going to do is a little bit in a couple minutes probably, I'm going to fix this. So I didn't want to select both sides here. So I will return that and then press pull again, pull this the two sides out. That's better. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. So now let's move on. Um, I need to make a hole in the center. I forgot to do it, so what I'm going to do is copy and paste this piece, and then I am going to use a subtract tool, and I am going to subtract it from... Uh, I'm going to select the main piece and then subtract it from this one. So what I did is I extruded this out a little bit um, because it wasn't it was in too far and then I'm going to use a subtract tool. And what I want to do is use a subtract tool and select the main body and then 
the copied and pasted object, and then delete the centerpiece. And then I'm going to extrude it back a little bit because I wanted it to be semi-flush with the wall. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can hear in the background, I'm sure, the I'm actually printing this right now. Alright, so I'm going to move this little piece back. Um, I took it out too far for my liking. So I extruded it back. And now I'm going to come back out and start working on the sides. Okay, so now I'm going to use the polyline tool and I'm going to make a rectangle. Um, it, and what I'm going to do is with this rectangle, I'm going to use it to make the sides I want. So the rectangle is not going to be perfect. It's going to be close, but not perfect. So, got to make your points. You can see I'm off here, so I'm going to come back and fix that in a minute. I accidentally add in an extra piece right here. Okay, so now I want to grab this corner and drag it down a little bit. And I actually want to drag it out a little bit more. I'm going to make the other side first, um, and then we're going to look at it. You can see some mistakes right here. You can see like the little corner piece right there. Um, I don't really care too much about that. You won't see it in the final print because it's so tiny. So I would just ignore it. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to make another rectangle over here. I believe I'm going to have to make these a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to do it generalized here and then I can pull them out afterwards. So there's the rectangle. Alright, so now I'm going to go look at it from above. Oh, look, i got to fix this little guy. This is part of the problem with that side mark there, so I'm going to fix that. Okay. Now we're going to zoom around so I can see where I'm moving these. I end up wanting to bring these up just a hair more because I always had trouble if I put it right on top of an edge like that. So now what has to be done is we got to pull the edge out a little bit because it's too far in. So just click on the edge and drag it out. There you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start extruding these upwards. And it's going to take out all of this. So I just got to pick a, a height that I want. So I was not sure, so I decided, eh, that'll work. And what I basically did here is, yeah, it looks like I'm doing the exact same thing, and I am to a point, but I wanted this to be slightly different, so I'm probably making it a hair bigger. So, I'm going to extrude that out, and now i got to just match up the sides, because I wasn't paying attention to how high I made it. All right, so now we got that cut out, I'm going to move the top part down, and we're going to fix the little crease in there in a second. So bring the top down to where we want it. You can see the crease, how messed up it makes it look, but don't worry about that. We'll fix that in a second. You just gotta. I decided to bring this back up because you need an edge for the uh, air filter to hook onto. Zoom in. So you see that little crack right there? We just got to press and pull that over, and it'll fix this little crease in there. I just couldn't see it until now, so boom, now the crease is gone. So now we can fix the sides, put in the side parts that we want to. Um, and basically the whole point of this, these sides is um, you need I needed just a little bit more room for the bolt. So now we are going to make this a little smaller. 
and because that's going to be the new wall once we're done with this. So make that a little bit smaller. Now we're going to move these other pieces down, make them level, and do it one more time. Make it level, and this is going to fix our hole too. Okay, so now we're level again. So now we need to move these two blocks down. Move, use the move tool, and then bring them down. Make sure they're level. Um, it actually doesn't matter because I end up moving these down to the bottom in a second because um, the way this wants to extrude, I end up extruding from the bottom up to clear out the area and then extruding them one more time and it, it makes it solid material. So. Alright, so I'm going to pull these down to the bottom, and from here we are going to extrude these upwards. I'm actually going to use the press and pull tool instead. And it ends up doing the same exact thing. See, it's extruding right now. When it's red, it's taking material out. And it's not exactly what I wanted it to do, but it works out fine for the end. So extrude these up. And then you're going to just end up doing it one more time. Okay, so now, because it took out all that material, we are going to extrude up one more time. And I'm hoping none of this at the bottom gets in the way of anything, so we will find out. If it does, I'm printing this solid right now, so I will probably just use a Dremel tool and grind that out. But we'll see. I need the engine to look at. So now we're doing the same thing again, extruding up, using the press and pull tool, I should say. And then we are doing the same thing again, pulling it up and making it solid. And then that's basically it. So, okay, so the only other thing I wanted to do, and I'm actually printing a test one of these right now, and I remembered, is uh, I want to move, make these two pieces not quite as tall. So let's see if it lets us do it without any real issue. Really, we just want to click that, and I'm going to take off about that much. We're only taking off five millimeters, so it's just these were way too thick. So we're going to try that and see how it goes. So that's the last thing. So now all I'm going to do is print this out, and I kind of want to try to print this out in ABS as well if I can. And if it comes out good in ABS, we'll use that one as the final uh, print. But right now I'm using PLA, and PLA is not a high temperature material. So for the intake, I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but when the engine gets hot, it could become deformed. So if I can't print it out in ABS on this 3D printer, I'm going to use a different one, and I'll run ABS through it and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, for the moment, this is it. Um, I'm just going to export this and I'm going to call this a day. So you will see this um, when I test fit it to the engine next. And that's that.